What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate all the support you've given me so far. I'm still pushing out content to you guys. I'm sorry I'm not as consistent as I would like to be, but I got a lot of stuff going on. But I am trying to get any little time I can to definitely push out more content to you guys. So I will be getting better at that. So stay tuned, keep it locked. And in this video, I do want to talk about something that I think is very important. And it's kind of going to be like a two part video, more or less. I want to talk about the stress of trucking and i want to talk about how to mitigate the stress of trucking because i don't want to just harp on the negatives about how stressful trucking can be without giving a solution to that um but i do want to highlight that there are days that trucking is extremely stressful and today for me actually was one of those days but if this video is helpful for you guys do your boy a favor smash that like button man drop a comment let me know how these videos are helping you guys out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and without any further ado let's get right into the video it's so many things that we as drivers go through in trucking you got traffic inclement weather bad shippers your equipment breaks down the list can go on and on and on but the thing is what i want to stress to you guys that's getting into trucking and just a reminder for those that's already in it we can't control none of this stuff it's just what it is you're gonna go through this stuff no matter how good you do your pre-trip, no matter how good you route plan and trip plan, it's always gonna be something that's gonna come up out of nowhere that's gonna throw you for a curveball and you have to be able to adapt. There are gonna be days where no matter what you do, no matter how good you are at backing, that damn truck will not go into the space. I don't know what it is, it's just some days that truck and that trailer will do what it wants to do. It doesn't matter how proficient you are at it, you're gonna have a rough day where you're gonna just throw your hands up and say, golly, man, this isn't working. You know what I mean? That's just a part of it. Every trucker goes through this. And for those veteran truckers that's watching this video, drop a comment if you agree with me. I really believe that there are a lot of things that you're going to go through as just a part of the game. That's just the way trucking is, and you can't do nothing about it. There's going to be times where an accident happens right in front of you, and you're going to be stuck there for an hour, and there's nothing you can do about it. There are going to be times when you get to the customer, you're not going to know where to park the truck, you're not going to know if you can fit into a space. All these things are a part of the game. And when it happens to you guys, just remember that everything that's happening in that moment will only last for that day. The next day, it'll be a whole different can of worms. And it may not be bad the next day. Just remember the problems that you're in right now are temporal problems, even though they don't feel like it. Because today, believe you me, people, I'm not just talking. Today, when I tell you I was furious, super frustrated with everything that was going on around me, I had to remind myself, listen, you know what? This day is almost over. We're gonna get this truck in this spot and we're gonna roll out and go home, hit the reset button, and tomorrow will take care of itself. I wanna give you guys three tips that I really think will help you when you encounter these type of days and they work wonders for me. So first one is when you get paid, always spend a little bit of money on yourself it doesn't matter how much money you make i don't care if you're making 500 a week if you're making 2000 a week it doesn't matter always take just a tiny bit of that money and be selfish and buy something for you make that stress worth it make sure you're getting yourself something to show for it to say hey man i don't care what it is i don't care if it's a haircut a candy bar socks whatever you know just something it doesn't matter what it is just get yourself something to where you can say hey man i busted my you know what for this thing and it'll help you feel motivated to say hey man at least i have something i can reward myself with even no matter how small it is but don't ever give all of yourself to the truck and all of yourself to bills and all yourself to finances to where you never get to enjoy anything for yourself that's not a good life man it's just stressing out every day worrying about how to make the money no don't do that you know i'd recommend that you at least take some time out today go do something for yourself go get you know a massage whatever you know what i mean that little bit of money make it special make it work for you so that way when you decompressing and you're enjoying that thing that you work for you're not even thinking about the truck the second thing i would do is sometimes you need to just take a break from the truck altogether. and this is for company drivers 
owner operators, lease purchase, doesn't matter. Sometimes you need to just get away from the truck and just hit that reset button for a, a weekend or a day or maybe even a week, depending on how stressed you are. Sometimes you need that time away from the truck to recalibrate because if you just keep trying to force it, you're gonna make a mistake eventually. So sometimes you need to just hit the pause button, come back, revisit everything with a fresh set of eyes, and you'll find that you're not even as frustrated as you thought that you were. And the third thing I'd recommend, guys, pick up a hobby. Pick up a hobby, man, to release some of that frustration. Pick up a hobby that has nothing to do with the truck. That's what I would personally recommend. This is my opinion. And that could be anything, guys. That could be being with your family, going to the movies, reading a book, anything that, that brings your stress levels down and you're not feeling that anxiety just focused on what's gonna happen next with the truck or focusing on tomorrow that's gonna happen with the truck. Because believe me, guys, today was a rough day for me. And tomorrow may be a difficult day also, but today, I'm focusing on my kids, I'm focusing on my wife, because today at the job is over. The moment you get out that truck, it's about you. It's about your life, it's about your interests, it's about you, it's not about the job, it's not about the company, it's not about the truck. You have to separate the two. You cannot let the truck consume you. I've seen a lot of guys that, it's very unfortunate, but they get so overwhelmed with the stress of trucking that they just start to shut down. They stay holed up in their truck and they feel alone and they feel desperate. And, and then they, sometimes these guys end up committing suicide. You know, they get really depressed and get down. I really don't want you guys to go through that. I really want everyone to understand that's watching this video. Trucking is trucking, but you are you. And as much as I enjoy trucking and sometimes as frustrating as trucking can be sometimes, I understand that I had to draw a boundary line. If it's getting to be too much to me, I have to step away. I had to get my mind right. You know what I mean? So all these things that we've covered is a part of trucking. It's a part of the game. They're not gonna go away, but don't let those things consume you. And if you use those three methods that I recommend, I really think it'll help you guys alleviate a lot of that stress because trust me right now, after the day I had, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these decompression methods right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, man. If it was helpful, please do your boy a favor, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and give me feedback if there's things about the video that you liked or didn't like, because it really helps me out. I appreciate the constructive criticism. I hope these videos continue to be helpful and to motivate you guys. Until next time, be blessed, stay safe. It's Gene rolling out.